Hey everyone, the name is Eric Thor, new Jungian typology to me that is using personality psychology, the Myers-Briggs type indicator, whatever system you come from to understand who you are at your best, who you are in a state of flow. The MBTI, the per systems of personality psychology available to us, they can teach us a lot about ourselves. But most importantly, they should be teaching us about who we are in flow, how to find flow, and how to maintain a happy lifestyle, how to maintain a sense of pride in ourselves, how to make peace with ourselves, how to accept ourselves, how to find joy in just being ourselves. The MBTI and the tools available to us that describe personality types they can be used, I believe, to describe our core most <laughs> anxieties and insecurities. They can help explain our worries and concerns in life. And they can help us understand our sources of joy and energy and motivation. The MBTI type, I believe, can help us guide us towards greater stability and peace of mind in a heightened sense of control over our own situations. Yeah, I mean, we're born into this world with no roadmap or no advice and no information on how to live or how to act to be happy. We are randomly assigned and given and put in situations that will give us anxiety or discomfort or sometimes comfort and satisfaction. And we have to ourselves recognize these patterns and recognize our own feelings in every given situation. We have to keep on learning and testing and experimenting hoping to find happiness and joy in this modern world of all these crazy inv inv inventions, all those uh, crazy people, all those different cultures. We have to find a place for ourselves and a place that will celebrate us and who we are. We have to find the right career that will fit our needs and our values. And we have to understand our needs and our values. And if we don't, we're basically screwed because we're gonna be making choices blind we're gonna be going into workplaces no idea about whether it will be a right good fit for us we'll be going into relationships no idea if this person is good or bad for us we will go into different situations no idea and yeah okay fine in the beginning that's all learning that's uh, step towards the right you know when you don't know the answer any choice is a good one but when you seek happiness, when you seek life in the fullest and most truest wor choice of words, if you seek life and happiness and to celebrate and enjoy life to the fullest, you have to get to know yourself. So a lot of people are interested in personality psychology and rightfully so. But a lot of the time the MTI and the systems available to us, they don't accurately help us understand ourselves. They only explain the stereotypical, most stereotyped version of ourselves. They only describe the most extreme, most normal circumstances for every personality type. What every personality type might look like if they were truly to be themselves. However, most of us have been trained to adapt and adjust to normal, natural circumstances of life. We have to all get a job, we have to all get through school, we have to all survive around other people. And we, so we learn to put on masks and to compromise. And so New Jungian Typology is about illuminating the difference between these personas and masks and what we really are if we find ourselves. So... What I've been doing is I've been blending together different systems, trying to understand neuroscience, psychology, personality psychology, the big five, the MBTI, the Enneagram, trying to learn from these lessons. So what I've done is I've created a system of 16 personality types, but also of different subtypes, sub variations within every personality, developmental differences, differences in attitudes. I try to understand personality from three dimensions. If personality is who we are in a positive state of mind, if our personality is our intentions and what we want and what we try to achieve and what we believe is good and what we find ourselves to be most interested in and what we find ourselves to value the deepest, 
There is a difference between our personality and our behavior. There is a difference between our actions, our choice of actions in a situation and what we most truly want. There is also a difference between our personality and our developed cultural norms and attitudes. We're thrown into a society that will tell us things about what is good and bad. Should we help each other? So should we be more independent? Is it good to give money to beggars? Or is it better to let them fend for themselves? Is it right to be free and to express yourself? Or should you be more conservative and pragmatic and follow the norms and social practices of your culture? Should we try to fit in or should we stand out? Should we celebrate our own individual expressions and ethics? Or should we trust the system and the law and let the system decide what is good and what is bad? How do we deal with all those matters and all those attitudes around us? If our parents have told us one thing and we have always felt something that was very, very, very different from this. If we have felt something that goes against our developed attitudes how do we deal with that you know what i've found is a lot of people hide behind their attitudes i mean they they've told themselves for a long time they're bad people they're not good enough they they have no value in today's society and so they must shut themselves down and repress themselves so finding flow is a point of self-discovery and of finding happiness you know when we release ourselves from our uh developed attitudes and find an attitude and a life script that will make us more happy that's all good there is nothing to feel guilty about in learning to love yourself and to trust your own ethics and moral compass if that is who you are there is nothing wrong with being yourself there is nothing inherently harmful or vile about being a free spirit or of uh, taking time to yourself for privacy or in uh, uh, enjoying competition there is nothing wrong in uh, being a little bit selfish sometimes or trying to solve a problem on your own or if you prefer to collaborate with other people and to rely on other people to solve problems and get through different situations there is nothing wrong with any innate given personality type there is no good or bad they're all just different and a core aspect of Jungian psychology is celebrating differences rather than seeking an aspect of normality while in psychology there is this bell curve and we're all chasing for the midline everyone is trying to be average everyone is trying to be a balance of all different aspects everyone wants to be both introverted and extroverted at the same time everyone wants to be both open to experience and also conservative at the very same time everyone wants to be average Everyone is chasing to be the best of both worlds and to have and possess all personality traits at the same time. Personality psychology is in a conflict in this, in that it suggests that there is nothing wrong with being a bit extreme. All our differences combined together will average out in society and if we have people that will celebrate freedom and if we have people that will be more traditional and if they can coexist together we will have a society that is better for everyone. But if we have a system where everyone is average we will always have an average society, a society that can neither allow or tolerate the greatest and the most bold of ideas nor the most practical or traditional of uh, histories. You know, if we live in a society that uh, wants everyone to be the same, there is going to be no progress in any dimension. We're not going to see any great new inventions. We're not going to see any uh, introverts prevail and provoke forward new thoughts and new ideas in society. And we're not going to see extroverts making new projects and creating new cultures. And we're not going to see a society change. We're going to see a society become stag stagnant, static, and we're going to start to slowly see it rise and die that's an extreme choice of words but it's really the truth it's new young and typology to me is about releasing individual differences celebrating human differences so my project my youtube channel is about discussing different personality traits from the aspect of flow and stress and anxiety and from human needs and from a perspective of our 
common cognitive blind spots. I want to illuminate the mind and train you to recognize your own thoughts and feelings. I want you to become more aware of your blind spots and flaws so that you can work around them. I want you to find ways to uh, find greater flow in your workplace. I want you to stand up to your boss and tell them what you need to be better and more productive at your work. I want you to tell your friends and family what you need to maintain energy and balance and boundaries and happiness in your relationships. And so I want to bring people together in this quest of being different. That's New Young and Typology. Thanks everyone for being a part of that. Thanks to all my Patreons on patreon.com slash Eric Thor for supporting me in making YouTube videos and in developing my website, ericthor.com. Thanks to my community on Discord and all the great discussions we're having. Thanks for making this project possible and I hope to see you all in the next video.